Uh, it's also important to respect parental rights to know what curriculum is being used in the classroom, and everything should be age appropriate. I actually have something that I brought that some oh, parents God. have objected to. Oh, God. What did he bring? To. So this is a book that's in some of the schools. What the Florida, this is not consistent what? with called gender queer I, it's, some of it's blocked out you would not probably be able to put this on there this is bro why do you have a printout this from a young he has kid's a print classroom out no, this is not age appropriate and so we're going to stand for the rights of parents square off the great state of california for what is the first ever red state blue state debate right here on the fox news channel now we will do our best to give equal time to each governor we will limit answers to 60 seconds per question We'll be a little flexible as needed. Let the debate breathe as needed. If this with sucks a ass, I'm skipping it. For rebuttal. And I'll watch the governor, top Ron level DeSantis, shit tomorrow. California governor, Gavin Newsom. Governors, uh, thank you both for being here. Really appreciate it. Great to be with um, you. I know but you won't see unless you're subscribed because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. Let's go. Here it is. Your individual states. Yeah. I know you both have a deep and abiding love for our country, as I do. Um, but where we are in the country, we've never kind of been this divided in a long time. There are clear and deep and profound differences in your Have approach we? Are to we? governance. Are we and actually divided? I don't think we are. I mean, the country is united on, at least politicians are united on fucking Israel. Running primetime cable host in the history That's of the number news. one topic right I'm now, now in everyone's blessed. minds. And in my it seems like everybody's united. Box. It's kind of widely known that I am a you conservative. Know? However... Tonight, I will be moderating this debate. I will not be part of the debate. It's widely known that I'm a conservative, but it's also widely known that I want to suck and Gavin and you Newsom. You will see and hear most of tonight's questions will deal with the most fundamental issues, the ones that impact the lives of the people that make this country great. The people in Florida. Sean Hannity is a conservative, but he unironically, I think, enjoys we'll Gavin Newsom's taxes, company economy, a lot more. Immigration, crime, guns, homelessness education, parental rights, abortion, gas prices, in other words, the things that impact you every single day. In the end, you will get to decide which governing philosophy you believe is better. The governors will explain their governing philosophy. And again, fact-based questions. So let's get started. Everybody ready? Right. No, there's no we, captions. Uh, as we speak, there is a phenomenon. It is playing out across the entire country. Americans, they are leaving blue states in droves in favor of red states. You can see numbers on the screen right now from the years 2021 and 2022. These particular numbers are stark in the state that you lead. In the case of you, Governor Newsom, according to the U.S. Census, this is where the numbers come from. In 2021, 2022, California's lost 750,000 residents to other states. Governor DeSantis. During that same two-year period, you gained 454,000 residents from other states. So, Governor DeSantis, we had a coin toss. I was not part of it. I missed it. Um, but apparently, Governor Newsom, you won the coin toss. Um, Damn, and you he's chose such a, to he let is Governor a dub. DeSantis have the first question. You will get the last word tonight. Uh, so, I begin with you. You know, for Governor Newsom, I will ask, you know, what your response is on this as well. What do you, it's a simple question. How do you explain this phenomenon? What, Governor, what's going on? When I was in the Navy, I got orders to go to Naval Amphibious Base Coronado in Southern California. And I was a lifetime. Uh, when I was in the Navy, I shut up, bitch. Like, you were a fucking jag lawyer, jag off. And I think California has more natural advantages than any state in the country. You almost have to try to mess California up. And yeah, that's what Gavin Newsom has done since he's been governor. He's the first governor to ever lose population. They actually, at one point, ran out of U-Hauls in the state of California because so many people were The only leaving. thing he's of right course, about- he's imposed restrictions on his own people while exempting himself- I need a new Google fucking extension that French like does- While his people were suffering. He led the country in school closures, Wait, let me locking see kids here. out of school while he had his own I need own a new kids. like- in private school i need a new person. fucking extension now, he's very man. good at spinning these these tales i need he's a new good caption at, extension at being slick and slippery he'll he'll tell a blizzard of lies to be able to try to mask the failures let me see but the reality is they have failed because of his leftist ideology and the choice for america is this no what biden no and gavin newsom didn't fucking hemorrhage uh, people because of leftist ideology he hemorrhaged it because of right-wing ideology neoliberalism principles work this country must choose freedom over failure. Governor Newsom, your reaction? Well, it's good to be with you, Sean. It's nice also to see you in a, 
a tie as well tonight. <laughs> Good to be with you, uh, Ron. And I, I, I dressed up for the occasion, you Governor. Dressed, I, no, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm grateful. Look, uh, it's an important occasion. I, this is an important conversation. And, and I, I think it's Shut up. Just say your answer, dumbass. Are we actually doing here? And, and, and I want to answer that very directly. I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm, I'm here uh, to tell the truth about the Biden-Harris record and also compare and contrast Ron DeSantis's record and the Republican Party's record as a How point of contrast do I download this? that's oh, as different add as daylight and darkness. You want to bring us back to a pre-1960s world, America in reverse. Uh, you want to roll back hard-earned national rights on voting rights, on civil rights, on LGBTQ rights, on women's rights, not just access to abortion, but also access to contraception. You want to weaponize grievance. You are focusing on false separateness. You in particular, Ron, are on a banning binge, a cultural purge, intimidating and humiliating people you disagree with. You and President Trump are really trying to light democracy on fire. So, Sean, there are profound differences the tonight. Extension? I look forward to engaging them. But there's one thing in closing that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. Governor, um, great opening statement, but <laughs> didn't it did not the it, it I didn't mean, address think... the issue. Can you explain this migration out of California and going to red I mean, state? You mean, Blue state? Well, hold on. You, you mean the, the, the last two years? Wait, what? Why is it not working? What the fuck? Drop your subtitles? Wait, what? Wait, this is, this is for me to drop? Man, I don't want to fucking drop my own subtitles. I want you to fucking do the subtitling. What the hell? Dominate. Number one manufacturing state. We dominate in two-way trade and research and development. No, uh, I have the live captions. More scientists, it sucks, More researchers, chat. more engineers, more Nobel laureates. It sucks. In the state of California than any other state. I'm deleting in the nation, this shit. The finest system of higher education. It's the birthplace of life science and biotech and nanotechnology. We dominate in green tech. We dominate in high tech. We dominate in artificial intelligence. So with respect... I think it's an interesting campaign strategy for Ron DeSantis to be bashing a state of 40 million Americans when California Chrome simply captions no fails. Well, that, that's a pretty slick way of not answering your question. He went on a binge of putting out a lot of left-wing platitudes. Here's He's right. I would say. I, Ron I DeSantis is right. Have moved from California to Florida, and we never used to get people from California to Florida or really anywhere in these because why would you leave California it's got the best weather Ron, great Ron, natural twice, forces. excuse me sir yeah, last so but one of the things that I did I had uh, governor, I was governor, talking governor, to a gentleman a couple guys, yeah, I know. guys I'm yeah. gonna I'm let this to a, I'm gonna let the debate breathe but it's his turn let's right. take let's take turns so I was talking to a fella who had made Tom the move from California uh, to Florida and he was telling me that Florida is much better governed uh safer better budget uh, lower taxes all this stuff and he's really happy with the quality of life and then he paused and he said you know by the way I'm Gavin Newsom's father-in-law so we do count Gavin's in-laws as some of the people that have fled California. Damn, I mean, damn. That's bro. He studied. He studied the blade. He's way, years, fucking going way harder on Gavin than he is on Trump. California's had a 45% increase in homelessness. We back the blue. I was walking the streets of San Francisco a couple months ago, and I had some of the cops in San Francisco do a beeline to come over to me, and I didn't know what they were going to say. And they're like, we want to thank you for standing for law enforcement because we don't get that support in the state <laughs> of California. So <laughs> people understand <laughs> the quality the of life up. matters. They understand that Florida's doing it right. And I can tell you the numbers speak for themselves. We have way more Let people move moving on. to this state than leaving. Gavin can't say the opposite. More people are leaving California than are moving into California. Let me, let me, coming, let me bring up coming to California the other way around the last two years. But let's talk about crime. Oh, wait, wait, you talk, wait, so, but, but, Governor, but, hold, hold I think on. Governor, is, wait a minute. I think hold on important. a second. He's been you, said you, a lot of things that were factually untrue, including that 50-year crime low, which his own law enforcement team 20, said 20, you should not be using. You, you have yet to address the issue, but I asked you twice. You don't want to answer it. But the issue of why the migration out of red states I'm sorry, well, out of blue states. We just should have a better more answer Floridians for this. coming to California in the last two I'm asking, years than the overall, you had a net loss of seven. It. It's you a just fact. Asserted it. It's a fact. No, it's he can't say it. It's because life is life is too expensive. Have. It's because of his neoliberal fucking policies or his lack of interest in actually so the facts. California's highest No, it's rate not taxes, burn. man. It's not taxes. Shut the fuck up. God, I hate these pieces of shit. Medium income of 84000 They have a 6% income tax in the state of California. Florida's income tax rate is 0% across all salaries, but it goes beyond income taxes. Property taxes are lower in California, but everything else is higher. 
Let's take a look at the numbers. These are the facts. The average property tax in California. Point Bro, my man is doing, my man is the, the moderator, by the way. tax, California. This is such a funny thing to, what, 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 a, what an awesome moderator Gas Sean Hannity is. <laughs> 77 cents a gallon. That is a low estimate. It's up to a dollar when you include Gavin mandatory Gavin Newsom getting fees. fucking and cooked in Florida, to the 2v1 cents. here. Corporate income tax, California, 8.84%. Florida, 5.5%. Governor Newsom, this is yes. your question. Let me ask you. Obviously, you support a different philosophy, which Absolutely. is higher taxes. Yes. Uh, no, well, not, not, no, hold on. No, we, this we is have a tax a, question, Governor. This is, this is a very different, uh, a different approach, and I agree with you completely. Uh, he is one of the most regressive tax rates in the United States of America. He's the number three most regressive state in America. And what that means is simply this. Who does he tax? He taxes low-income workers more than we tax millionaires and billionaires in the state of California. The question it's is true. a simple one. Who, Ron, are you for? It's a factual lie How do that I the state of California this? is high tax, has the highest tax rate, God but damn for it. whom? And it's a foundational and fundamental difference. You look at states like Texas. No, nothing leaks. Overwhelming the majority I'm trying of to Texas fucking pay more tax turn on my settings. Taxes than the state of California. So again, it's who you're for. And I think those values matter. And I appreciate you bringing up the issue of taxes. How many people leave Florida to go to California because they pay less taxes? Uh, I've not seen that. Are people going to, from Florida to New York because they pay less taxes? Of course not. They come to Florida because they pay lower taxes. We don't even have an income tax, and yet California has a higher sales tax than we do, and that's one of the things that we do. But here's the thing. People don't leave California because of high taxes. People leave California because of inflation. People who leave California because of inflation on important things like a necessary for survival like homes. That's it. It's the housing prices. That's Working. it. That's the major reason. People leave California because rent is too high. Housing is impossible to find. There's no affordable housing. There's not enough housing. There's not enough affordable housing. All the new housing projects are unironically ex incredibly expensive. They're not a actually solving the problem. That's it. That's it. Well, it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad that they're talking about fucking taxes. California has a fucking $250 billion budget surplus over the course of like, what, three fucking years? $88 billion a year or some shit like that. Because during COVID, when the K-shaped recovery happened, all the fucking rich people stayed in fucking California and they paid their goddamn taxes willingly and and knowingly, myself fucking included, it's the housing prices that are too damn high. That's the problem. That's why people leave. Because, yeah, they've got Silicon Valley billionaires. They've got a lot of very wealthy people. They've got a lot of people that are on government assistance, but they've hollowed out their middle class. That's who's been <laughs> leaving guy, California. They've been the leaving in other places. They let go me, to Arizona. They go to Nevada. In the they go to all these time, places. Let me just I, say, I, like do, I do have a follow-up. I do have a follow-up. Hey, follow in California. Ron, I'm happy. That you continue to talk. Let's talk a little bit about Bidenomics because I'm happy to take that on. Oh, right now you as well. fucking I think asshole! It's a big point. supporter of it. That's, I, I appreciate you acknowledging 14 that. 14 million jobs, ten times more than the last three Republican presidents combined. Because he had 815,000 manufacturing the, the, the jobs. jobs were because 3. of the COVID 9 percent. Are you kidding 3. me? 3.9% unemployment. As he continues to talk over me, I'll talk to the American people. 3.9% unemployment, the lowest black unemployment in American history, the lowest unemployment for Hispanics in America. American history, the lowest unemployment for women in 70 years, the lowest black poverty rates in history. That's this administration's agenda. And by the way, as you smile and smirk over there, you should know this, the American people. Here's a guy who celebrated Bidenomics just this week, celebrating $28 million that came into your state because of the Chips and Science Act, one of the most significant economic plans right. since FDR. I'm proud of the work Biden and Harris have oh, done. Oh, I found it. Would you like to respond? And I I do have a follow-up. The six percent rate on people, families, uh, couple in California, they pay six percent income tax right. on eighty-four thousand dollars a Low year. Low-wage workers that's why in the state of Florida pay does. more than I mean, I, state I, I of didn't California. We're we, we, spinning. We, we, governor, he is governor, thirty. I'm asking but here's let me ask Nancy. Let me ask the question. Let me ask the question. Let me ask the question. Let me answer the question. Okay. California has lower taxes, more lower than thirty-two states for working families in the middle class, what significantly lower taxes than places that. That's what like you're Texas. You support a 6% income tax for I'm people, against, a couple I'm against regressive taxes that advantage billionaires and millionaires over working families and the working okay. poor. People in his state pay more taxes on the low Windows end than we tax caption? people on how, the high how end. How does paying $7 a gallon gas help working people? 
That doesn't help working people at all. How does paying an 8% Wait, I can, sales I can purchase tax live captions on Windows? People? That doesn't help working people at all. Uh, they have the highest taxes in the nation. People flee to be able to save money uh, to get out of California. And you oh, have working shit. class people that move to these other states. Their dollars go much further. But here's the thing. Yo. They want to take this Bidenomics Yo. and they want to double down on this for the next four years. How many people are able to afford groceries now compared to what you were doing three or four years ago? I talked to people. You know, Look at that. I, I talked to a woman who had, a, had a, a, a cart full of groceries going in and they're ringing it up. And it got to be so expensive, she has to take a lot of the stuff out. That didn't used to be the case. People used to be able to work hard and get ahead. That is not true under Joe Biden. And you know what, Sean? One more final thing. California's unemployment rate is 60% higher than Florida's unemployment rate. Oh, Our unemployment rate is 2.8%. That, that Theirs is 4.8%. Why? Governor. Because it's a command and why control economy. They have a political agenda that they're pursuing. Oh, Let me ask that question. People. Honor with the question of jobs. I think it's important. You know what? That affects everybody. By the way, that, by the way, that affects the everybody. Biden administration, the last three years, it's is, been a massive Joe Biden job paying you tonight? 3.9%. I thought this was state versus state. Point, no, but it's about the United States of America. I thought this guy was running for president of the United States. If you are too. You just won't admit running it. For a third you just, you just like won't admit running it. For you will not admit it. Term. Why don't you right, admit gentlemen. that you're running? Hold on. All right, we can't hold talk. We can't talk. I'm going to move on to the next question. The unemployment rate in Florida right now yes. is just 2.8 percent, you, as you st stated. Uh, and California ranks second worst in the country at 4.8 percent. Hold, hold on. This question goes to Governor DeSantis, and then you'll have a chance to respond. Governor DeSantis. Well, well, right. I mean, uh, they tax too much. They regulate too much. They have a political agenda. It's not a good climate for business. They've lost a lot of companies. A lot of companies have moved to Texas. We have had some to Florida, but they've lost a lot of companies to Texas because they're not doing a good job uh, looking out for folks and not creating a good business environment. And, um, you know, when I have people that come to Florida, uh, they tell me, you know, you guys actually want us to succeed in Florida. And they feel like when they're in California, people are always coming up to DeSantis and saying things, dude. Saying always Bay saying Ray. things well, actually, that he wants yeah, to hear. I, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy how many COVID, people come up to him, including that baby. Disney closed inexplicably for over a year. Well, love you were not about following about science. science. You were a lockdown governor. You did a lot of damage to your people. Oh. You had more kids locked out of school for a longer period of time in California than anywhere else in the country. It was the working class kids. It was the middle income kids. His kids were in private school. Problem is, he would never be able to fucking run the table like this. He can only get away with this when, you know, Sean Hannity on Fox News is letting him do this. He can't do this with Donald Trump. It's 2v1, you know what I mean? State of California did. You closed down your beaches, your bars, your restaurants. False. It's a fact. You had quarantines. False. You had quarantines. You had checkpoints all over the state of, Cal uh, of Florida. By the way, I didn't say that. Donald Trump laid you out on this. Dead to right. You that's did that. True. You followed science. You followed Fauci. That's Ron not, that's not he followed science. He followed Fauci. You and were why promoting. Did leave hold California on. You were promoting vaccines. We were open. You were promoting we vaccines. Were you even we wore closed. a mask in we September. Were open. You were closed. If it's, if it's okay with you. We'll do this. Why were you closed for so long? Why don't we do this so in a long? way where we both can have Why were you closed for so long? You wore you a were mask closed. with right, guys, Donald guys, Trump closed. outside I'm to let it breathe. in September 2020. Gavin, he did all of that until he decided to fall prey to the fringe of his party. And as a consequence of that, Ron, tens of thousands of people lost their lives. Not true. The equivalent, if I had your policies, the equivalent of 10 9-11s, tens of thousands of people lost their lives. And for what, Ron? Those are more lies. In fact, the Lancet just did a study. <laughs> Florida had a lower standardized COVID death rate than California did. That's a Lancet me, study. Me, yeah, one more thing. One more thing. Standardized. The other, thing we had, the the other thing California had, your California had higher your mortality then all right gentlemen order. gentlemen Let me standardized talk about hang, hang, notice how he because snuck because that in there standardized okay bro if well, slow down i want everyone to be heard if i can ask you i really do want this to breathe i want this debate to breathe i want it to organically develop uh to do that i need both your cooperation i don't want to be a home 9 11 is the new right? standard is the new uh, metric you system. mentioned covid let me go to covid and I plan uh -oh. to bring this up later, but you both took very different approaches as it comes to COVID. Governor Newsom, you issued the nation's first stay-at-home 
order on March 19th of 2020. Governor DeSantis, you took a lot of heat for reopening schools. You opened schools in Florida in August of 2020. All right, so here's the data, which I think is important. This is where the facts come in. Uh, your state's death rates were almost identical. Yeah, this is factually untrue. Uh, hold on. It's factually untrue. Yeah. Okay. The na uh, and by the way, both your states, with such different approaches, which is pretty fascinating, were both lower, significantly lower, than the national average. These uh -huh. numbers come straight from the CDC. Yeah. So, Governor well, Newsom, capita, how do you, death, well, how do you explain that? The facts. Per capita death rates that's what that is. in the state of Florida were 29% per capita higher. 29% tens that, that's not what the of thousands say right of there. people, tens of thousands of people Don't unnecessarily lie about died. It. He put the graphic tens up there. Don't lie about it. Don't lie about it. Don't lie about it. Because your policy is not You're lying you about, your lie record. about it. No, it's not. You were a lockdown governor. No, it's you not. locked down. One at a time, Gavin Newsom, finish your thought. You locked down bars and restaurants. That's just a fact. He's running away from his record. He's running away from the fact. Tens of thousands of people died unnecessarily because he caved. It's 29% higher. Death rate in the state of Florida the versus the state of California. Okay, quick Tens response, Governor. You should, you should quick, the, the stats. Back. The stats are very clear. One at a time. Uh, on a per capita age adjusted basis, California and Florida basically the same. Now, why is that important? Because Gavin Newsom did huge damage to people in California, mm -hmm. he ruined livelihoods. We reopened the, the, the state very quickly. We saved thousands of jobs. We saved hundreds Florida, of thousands of jobs, thousands of businesses. We had our kids in school. He had the kids locked out of school because of the teachers' union. That Wait, is why? having a generational What did they impact. do? Did they age adjust that? One of the lowest Bro, that's crazy. And the, the most recent Yo! came in number three Fox for News is reading. insane, California dude. California was far, far behind. So you should apologize for not getting your kids in <laughs> school. Why didn't you get the kids in school in the summer that's of 2020? That's crazy. Like Fox only News did that. The the only union. person. You didn't do the job you should have done. That's and insane, bro. One of the Quick answer. Is Ron California's DeSantis numbers is 256 per 100K because he played played to the French. Oh my gosh, Sean Hannity's such a fuck, dude, 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 dude. Ron DeSantis doing age-adjusted uh, uh, numbers is different. Okay, Ron DeSantis doing age-adjusted numbers is different than Fox News' is supposed neutral moderator doing that. That's crazy. <laughs> Florida's COVID deaths per capita number. Florida's COVID deaths per capita numbers is at 404, okay, per 100,000 people as of March 10th, 2023, okay? California's, eight, uh, California's 100,000 uh, per capita numbers is 256. So either, either Sean Hannity, just unironically put California's full numbers and then put and then put Florida's numbers uh, uh, only for like the aging population or something or I don't know what the fuck just happened like that's a that's where did he get that number from that's crazy bro that's crazy he said CDC except like this is CDC numbers too. Do they have the national one? The graph said 289. COVID mortality. COVID mortality uh for age adjusted oh age adjusted death rates is uh the numbers that they're trying to show on Ron said it was age adjusted numbers. I know, but that doesn't change that doesn't matter, okay? First of all, your population is not your population is who you have. This num this notion that like we're doing age adjusted population rather than like the population that you actually have is fucking psychotic okay of course the death rate in florida is higher than uh, the death rate in california guys come on of course it is california death rate 99.9 .9. let's see what florida's is florida is 111.7 and even and this is age adjusted isn't it california's age adjusted death rate is 99.9 .9. florida's is 111.7 so even when it's age adjusted florida's still higher what the fuck which by the way Age-adjusted uh, death rate per capita is a fucking ridiculous argument. That's in 2021. In 2020, what is it? Age-adjusted, 68, 56. That's probably, that could be a, 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 a reporting error. But it still doesn't matter. Age-adjusted is a fucking ridiculous argument to make in this situation because age-adjusted is a ridiculous argument to make in this situation because, like, you 
do COVID policy, not by what you're fucking, uh, not by like some other, uh, not by looking at like some other factors. You look at it by, by who is in your population. You're responsible for the entire population of your state. What the fuck? Trends in the United States, COVID-19 hospitalizations, deaths by geographic area. Total deaths per 100,000 uh, 100, crude, 173. California, cumulative deaths uh, total, 281. What's the argument for adjusting by age? I guess the argument for adjusting by age is that Florida has more old people. That's why. Like, there's more old people that retire in Florida, so that's why they, they're going to have more deaths is what they're trying to say. But even then, it's like, okay, well, you should be extra careful then. Like, what the fuck? It makes no sense. And welcome back to Hannity as we continue our blue state, red state debate with Governor Gavin Newsom and Governor Ron DeSantis. Gentlemen, let's move on to the issue of borders. Joe Biden's message to illegal immigrants during his campaign was, let them come. I'd have the tape, but I said I wouldn't play the tape. And since taking office, Biden said Wait, he's what the gotten fuck? control Carter just, of the border. Vice President Kamala Carter Harris. Carter just gave us something uh, incredible. Security Secretary Mayorkas. Uh, Biden's press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, have all said the border is either secure or the border is closed. Yet the Border Patrol says, well, guess what? They have been a record 6.5 million encounters with illegal immigrants. And you so can toggle captions the in the future. Since President Biden Carter just office, told the administration. Hold on. I'm going to pause for a second. Well, not pause it, but like stop it for a second. Don't know if you know this, but Twitch supports closed captions now from your OBS. So we will add a button below your Twitch player. Chat is probably be stoked about it. It's a thing you can toggle as a viewer. By the quality selector below the stream is sick and doesn't break anything. There you go. You'll be able to now uh, toggle on your captions Close. if you want. Those are the numbers from our own Border Patrol. Are the American people being lied to? I don't think they're being lied to. The Biden administration put out a comprehensive plan day one when he got sworn into office. That doesn't years work ago. if you mute and it. The Republican Party didn't touch it. They have no moved this on. caption. This politicians. caption doesn't work if I mute it. And I'll I know, be it's honest annoying. with you. I think there's probably one person I wouldn't listen to on this topic more than the guy that I'm standing next to, Ron DeSantis. He is absolutely he lacks any credibility on the issue of immigration. But I put it on desktop audio, Congress, so they won't be able to hear he my supported amnesty voice. And he's I in guess. Congress, you supported John Boehner's bill. It's a that fact. Is false. When you were in Congress, you supported I killed Obama's. John you supported bill. Obama's efforts that is to false. advance comprehensive reform. False. The last guy you want to talk to on Wait, the you know, issue. Where is my fucking oh roadcaster here? Can best be described as a governor. Now you can hear it. Now you can. Now I'll caption my going voice. Going into another state, the state of Texas. And you'll be able to Lying see it. Lying to migrants, promising them jobs and housing, sending them to an island, Martha's Vineyard, and then sending them to a parking lot in Sacramento, California. I met with those migrants that you lied to under false pretense. Is it that bug? kind of gamesmanship, using human beings as pawns, I think is disqualifying. So again... A guy who stands here who's been out on the Republican debate stage saying, well, he's going to be tough. He's going to shoot people with backpacks uh, and that he has a strategy to potentially even invade our second largest trading partner, uh, Mexico. It looks that has a record of supporting amnesty and supporting reforms under the Obama administration is the last guy to be standing on stage talking about the issue of immigration. Oh, God, tonight. they should keep the well, camera away what, from it's Ron. deja vu all over again with that flurry of lies. They this should keep the camera away from Biden Ron, dude. The is not lying to the public it's not good. about the border. They go to the White House uh, briefing It's not good when they, they show the Ron. Secure. Not they good at all. They are lying to you. We know that that's not true. Gavin Newsom is lying to you when he says somehow I supported these things, which I didn't do. Where are the, where are the captions? I'm trying to find you, it. Uh, I can't about see what it. it's going to take to solve this problem. California is a sanctuary state. Uh, they thumb their nose at federal immigration law. And this has real consequences. Uh, there was an illegal alien, Herbert Nixon Flores, uh, who was in L.A., uh, in custody. He was a repeat criminal. ICE wanted to take him into custody because then they would be able to deport him. L.A. refuses to work with ICE, and so they wouldn't turn him over. They end up releasing him on the street. He ends up murdering the mother of a three-year-old little... Hit him with the empirical evidence right now, you fucking bitch-made motherfucker. Do it. Come on. You're handsome as fuck. Do it. Do it. Work. Do your job. And Do I'll your job. This. Uh, talk talk to him. Tell him about the fucking Cato study. Mark Tell him about the other study that was conducted in fucking Texas about how undocumented about citizens Gavin are responsible for less crime per capita than documented U.S. citizens, than natural-born U.S. citizens, and certainly like even naturalized U.S. citizens. Come on. 
they don't want to have you fucking to better hit him with that if you're not a, so a lot of what good are you here if you're gonna sit here and fucking eat this shit i hate this fucking then, anecdotal bullshit okay yes crime is an inevitability okay when humans are with one another there's always gonna be fucking crime that's why we need law and order bitch I mean, We'd be much better on the same topic were the case. on the on the same topic no don't shut the fucking what very important question right. While some migrants I know want to come to America for a better life for themselves and their family, find the American dream, I, I totally sympathize with them. Uh, many good people fleeing very bad situations abroad. Oh my God. Um, oh my God. He just are don't change the fucking the subject. Process. And in the process, in search of, of where they're coming from, well, we're now learning that many are coming from some of our top geopolitical foes, countries with little to no vetting or people that are coming in, they're not being vetted. Look at these numbers between October 2021, October 2023, border agents what is this 6, 2v1? Bro, Afghanistan, Gavin is getting 3, cooked, dude. 153 from Egypt, 659 from Iran, the number one state sponsor of terror, 538 from Syria, 12,605 from Russia, and a whopping 26,113 from China. Now, my question, the next question goes to you, Governor Newsom. What are the odds that, that Biden's open borders have allowed terrorists and terror cells unvetted into this country? Is that <laughs> a danger to every American? What a American? stupid the argument. God damn. Of course. Our Bro, just unconditionally it. said everyone coming in from fucking Muslim oh, countries are terrorists, dude. I'm losing my fucking mind, brother. Executed. That's He's crazy. Having 8 million come in. And yes, there's criminal aliens. There are terrorists. There's a lot of fentanyl. That we've had tens of thousands of fentanyl deaths. I've had the, uh, uh, I've met a lot of angel parents who have lost kids to fentanyl overdose and the, and the problem is you know, you'll have a, a, high, a college kid that may take some pill not knowing that there's fentanyl in it and then right there that can be fatal they're poisoning our people and joe biden is sitting on his hands he refuses to take care of the border he refuses to hold the drug cartels accountable this is the vision of biden harris newsom open borders americans suffer and Americans continue to die because of fentanyl overdose. There will be, unfortunately, a terrorist attack at some point that we'll be able to trace back to our it, southern border. God, this is God just, forbid, by the way, do you see that is, risk? God Governor forbid. Hold Governor, on. I mean, do, you see, do you see the risk? Joe Biden put out not only a comprehensive plan, he consistently puts up plans. I Hold understand. on, no, but Sean, Yeah, he's going to be like, Joe Biden built the wall, man. Sick. I, I hate this fucking security. country so much. God, I hate my governor. He's such a fucking idiot. I'm the, one that, I'm the only guy here that's a border state governor. You're trolling folks and trying to find migrants to play political games to try to get some news and attention so you can get him. Trump, Trump. And by the way, how's that going for you, Ron? You're down 41 points in your own home state. Oh! The issue of immigration, oh! Joe Biden. Okay, I take it back. I spoke too soon. That was good. That was good. That was good. In front of Congress, 2,300 border agents, as well as custom officials, 1,000 new law enforcement officers to deal with a fentanyl issue. And by the way, that's a major issue in your state. 41% higher overdose rates than the state of California. And here's what oh! I heard. Not a peep. From Ron DeSantis, they want to demagogue this issue. You want to play politics with issues. You don't want to solve this issue. Why don't you lead your Go, party Governor Newsom. and support that $14 right, billion me, dollar Hold package. on. I have a follow-up. Governor Newsom, I appreciate your answer. Uh, you have mentioned comprehensive immigration reform many times. It's not happened under Joe Biden. I don't think it's going to happen next year. put a detailed year. plan in. But, Republicans but in Congress go, refused to act let me, on it. Let me, it yeah, let me finish my Congress question. to work my with this administration. Was, with all of these millions and millions of people bro. coming into this country. Bro, he was cooking him so hard, Hannity had to step in, dude. Gavin danger. was cooking him so hard. Sean literally would be like, Governor Newsom, please stop. <laughs> please stop cooking him. Governor Newsom, please stop. You're hurting. You're hurting our boy. In front of Congress, they can act on today. And what would that? They haven't done anything in two years, this Congress. What do you support? Literally not a single piece. You support a border wall? Bro, Sean Hannity's doing a better job debating Gavin Newsom than Ron DeSantis. 300 border agents and customs officials. By the way, also the includes fuck? $850 million in new technology for border security. You hear nothing from Ron DeSantis. You hear nothing, Sean, respectfully. You hear nothing from the Republican Party. They play politics. I'm almost the out of president time. Put Before the, the break. plan up to address oh. Does it the worry? anxiety Let me, let me ask security. the question another way. Does it worry you that our top geopolitical foes, the number one state sponsor of terror, Iran, China, Russia, uh, the, Afghanistan, Syria, 
that they're at our southern border. You're a border state governor. Well, does that, does that concern you at all? The why, why else aspect? would I put the, the answer is yes. Why else would I it put does. the National Guard? Why would I just increase it by 50 percent on the largest port in the Western Hemisphere in my state? I mean, this guy has no record. Is no. I mean, the fact that you supported amnesty, the fact That's you supported Obama, That's reforms, a lie. That's those a are lie. facts. They're just simple. guys. By the way, okay, okay. Debate or not, it's fucking disgusting to me that they're like, like Gavin Newsom, idiotically trying to outflank Ron DeSantis by being like, I'm really tough on border crimes. <laughs> Uh, Shut the fuck up, dumbass. What are you Biden saying? Talk about the positives. Solve this problem. Is there anybody out there that actually believes this? Support Joe Biden plan. created this problem. So if he's plan. willing to lie to you about God, that, I hate you know he's lying so to you about all They're these so other stupid. facts and figures, uh, about all this other stuff. He's just throwing stuff out to see what sticks against yeah. the wall. This is a slick, slippery politician yeah. whose state is failing, people are leaving his state, and he's trying to run interference right. for his failure. We've got to take, take our second got to take our second got to take our second break. We're going to when we come back. Dude, I, I okay, okay, okay. I fucking hate this. I hate this so much. I hate I hate this like debate because like it's a 2v1 to begin with. Sean Hannity unironically keeps literally posting fake news, okay? or irrelevant information, Sean Hannity is cutting in, in between, when, when Gavin Newsom is cooking Ron DeSantis super hard, he cuts in to like, you know, pull the fucking, pull the chair from underneath him, okay? Keeps taking the ball away, exactly. But also, but also, on top of that, Gavin Newsom is doing the most annoying shit possible talking about like oh you don't understand biden is actually really strong on borders bro you're on fox news are you fucking stupid are you actually stupid no one is going to believe you okay this is the entire problem with the democratic party's policies in general the idea that you can be tough on the border crimes or whatever and like try to outflank republicans is stupid republicans will always be able to defeat you in the racism agenda, okay? In the racism Olympics, the Republicans are always going to win. You cannot, you cannot out-racist the Republicans, okay? So the notion that you're not going to offer an alternative solution to talk about, like, how immigrants are the backbone of our economy, like, all these things that Democrats, at the very least, historically used to say that they don't even say no more spells trouble for the future of this country. OK, Democrats at least used to fake it and be like immigrants. This is an immigrant. This is a nation of immigrants. Diversity is our strength. Meanwhile, now you got Gavin Newsom being like, no, you don't understand. I'm literally going to murder Mexican babies. OK, I am going to I'm going to murder them myself. You don't get it. Like, I'm the most racist dog. Not you. You don't even have a border. I have a border. Thank God I have a border so I can kill more fucking uh, Hispanic people coming over the border and also the terrorists. All you do. When you fucking present the argument like that in the eyes of the Republicans and the reactionaries that are watching, all you've done now is basically legitimize the problem. They're never going to look at you honestly and go, yeah, I think you are doing a good job. I think you guys are actually doing a good job on the border stuff because Americans are already polarized. They're already, like, you're, you're not... You're not doing anything to gain conservative voters. Conservative voters might leave the conservative, I mean, uh, the Republican Party, but they won't leave because a Democrat said, no, actually, I'm the most racist on the border stuff. They'll leave the Republican Party if they fucking personally feel like what the Republican Party is doing is like unimaginably cruel and evil and actually hurting them personally, like the abortion ban, right? Capitulating to the Republicans, on the other hand, is not an effective strategy because all you've done now is legitimize their policies. You've made it seem as though their policy provisions are actually correct. And, and they're always going to beat you in that. They're always going to beat you on those policies. We've been doing this for years and years and years, by the way, which is precisely the reason why America has become increasingly more right-wing on the issue of immigration. Very frustrating stuff to watch. Wouldn't the same audience despise the immigrants of the backbone argument? It don't matter. It doesn't matter if they fucking despise it. At that point, you're at the very least doing...
the less bad option, optically speaking, if the audience is going to despise you because you're a Democrat anyway, the least you can do is defend your position and show at least the secondary market that's going to be watching the debate, like us, and maybe Democrats on Twitter and Democrats that will watch it on fucking CNN later when they play the highlights, will look at that and go, yeah, he did a good job defending this position. Do you understand? Bernie Sanders did this perfectly when he went on Fox News and he did the town halls and stuff. He did it perfectly, straight up. Hi, right, welcome back to the great Blue State. That was a short-ass ad break. Uh, with Governor Gavin Newsom, Governor Ron DeSantis. Again, thank you both for being here. We're going to take a little breathing room. I don't, I don't mind the debate taking on a life of its own, but let each other breathe. Um, I don't want to be the hall monitor. Please don't turn me into that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's look at the issue of crime. FBI yeah, numbers, he doesn't want to be the hall monitor. He wants to be the guy who fucking each owns of your states. Ga- Keep uh, in mind, Gavin. The statistic shows what is the combined rate of homicide, rape, robbery, aggravated assault, the year 2022. Hello. On the national level, the rate was 380.7 offenses per 100,000 people. In California, meanwhile, the rate was much higher, 499.5 offenses per 100,000. In Florida, lower, 258. <laughs> is this age adjusted too? They're like, hey Governor guys, this Newsom, is also start with this you. is poverty Your adjusted or some way shit. higher than the national average. How do you explain that when safety and security, <laughs> I would argue, is a prerequisite for the pursuit of happiness? Well, I couldn't agree with you more. We're near 50-year lows, down 55 percent violent crimes in the state of California from the 1990s, and I want to compare and contrast that with the issue in Florida that you didn't mention, and that's the murder rate. And let's broaden it more broadly. The issue is seven of the top Those numbers 10, were part of the murder rate. Seven of the top ten murder rates in the United States of America are red states. He has a sixty-six percent gun violence, baby. Gun death rate. Flip the script. In the state of California has a higher murder rate. Go to places like Jacksonville. Go to places like Orlando. Go to places like Tampa. The murder rates off the charts compared. No, the homicide rate is much lower. In, uh, and you know it's what? supposed Even to be lower. Sean, Wait, I think is this, this is a homicide mortality? Is this also age adjusted? You. Are you fucking kidding me? You, you had one of the worst, worst mass shootings in what American the fuck? history, Parkland. Seventeen kids no. were gunned down. <laughs> lives lost. Dude, Seventeen shut the others fuck lives up. torn asunder. What is this you shit? A young girl. By the what name is of age Jamie adjusted mortality? Gutenberg whose father pleaded with you to do something about it. And you know what you did? They did the exact opposite. You made it easier for felons to get guns without background no, checks, no, no, without no. any training. These people pleaded with you, the parents and the families, to get tough on gun safety. And again, you made it easier for felons. He said of you, Ron, and I agree with him, after, after you signed that concealed carry I think that means they take out bill, deaths of old age. Brother, age-adjusted homicide? What is a death of old age when it comes to homicide? You weak, pathetic, and small. So with respect, I appreciate you're talking to police officers in the state of California. You may want to spend a little bit more time not on the Ohio Trail and other places across this country. You may spend a little more time back in your home state and address the murder. (laughs) What do you mean? Mercy killings? (laughs) This is is the slick politician. You put up the rates. He has 500 per 100,000. Florida is 250. So that's almost twice as much. And he's trying to spin that to say California's doing good. People are leaving California in droves, largely because public safety has collapsed. Uh, They have, I mean, you you go, when Californians come to Florida, one of the things they'll say, it's almost like an out-of-body experience. They can go to the store, get toothpaste off the shelf, pay for it and leave. Because in a lot of these places in California, everything's under lock and key because they basically legalize retail theft. They have chosen in California to put the interests of the criminals over public safety. Uh, they treat, uh, this they're is easier crime. on sex offenders. They're easier on all Violent these crimes crime. that are leading to a collapse in the not, quality not, of life. Um, and if you just walk around San Francisco, uh, you will see, and I think it's interesting, Gavin Newsom was mayor of San Francisco. So he took the San Francisco model, turned that into a template for California's collapse. Now the left wants to take the California model and use that as a template for America's collapse. Well, we cannot let that happen. Not, not homicide. But, but hold hold, no, no. The, I got a follow up question. You brought up Jacksonville, Florida. No, no, no. Violent, violent crime. The numbers that they showed was the violent crime numbers. Gavin Newsom's Governor retaliation Lane. was homicide. The next question dovetails in Tampa, into this. It's 75% higher. What 
What? Let me also say, I, what are you talking about when it comes jabbering. to this? I know no, you're, you're like just to jabber. By the way, those are all like easily to, I know you like to, to lie. Anytime you're uncomfortable, he put you. you just he put the statistics up. up there. Those are all your, facts. Your crime is what higher. Are you doing we about know the gun your crime is higher. Gentlemen, we know gentlemen, what are you I'm doing about on. the gun murder rate in your state? We'll let the audience. We'll let the audience look at the numbers, the FBI numbers, and decide. According to the Gun Control Advocacy Group, every town. Uh, for gun safety, yep. okay? California has the most, as you support, I know, Governor, restrictive gun laws in the United States. Yes. Uh, Florida has the 19th most restrictive. Yet, if you look at the year 2019, when each of you took office, uh, California has had 21 mass shootings. Florida has had nine. Now, That's that is according to a yeah. USA Today, AP, yeah. Northeastern uh, That's University so funny. database. Bro, uh, it, this is a ridiculous... Data. Dude, this is literally like... Uh, what were they doing yesterday when they were talking about Nikki Haley? And they were trying to find favorable numbers? And they were like, Nikki Haley is only 20 points down from Trump if you look at people making over $150,000 a year. And it's like, first of all, you use 2019 numbers. Secondly, what a fucking psychotic argument. It's not just mass shootings, it's gun deaths. And California absolutely eviscerates Florida on that metric every single fucking time. Because they don't get the support from the communities that they need. And, you know, Gavin told another lie. He said we made it easier for felons to do. Felons are not allowed to possess firearms. That's federal law. That's been long No background checks. That is an no absolute lie that he's yeah, saying. No, like the that. murder rate is higher in Florida. Homicide is higher in Florida. Like 100%. Gun violence is higher in Florida. Homicide is higher in Florida. Crime, violent crime in general is higher in California. on an ideological joyride. To let people out of prison early, to go easy on them. Heck, your buddy. Uh, uh, violent, crime Florida, uh, violent crime is higher in Florida. Violent crime is higher in California than in Florida. However, I don't know if that's a that's a matter of like what kind of crimes are tracked. You goofed and said California is worse. Oh, did I? Sorry. Florida loses the California on. Florida loses to California on gun violence every every time. He has failed the people of California. So I love this guy talking about backing the blue when you dangled pardons for January 6th insurrectionists, 85 of them that were literally were charged with attacking law enforcement. You talk a big game about backing the blue. With all due respect to the crime rate, again, he's not answering the fact. Yeah, Florida's murder rate by murder farms, 14.1% uh, in California is 9%. Higher gun death rate than the state of California. And I can easily answer this point. Gun safety saves lives. I don't think it. I know it. And the data bears that out in the state of yeah. California. California. California used to have a pretty high fucking gun violence common uh, sense gun rate. Common sense gun and safety since they fucking put in gun safety measures, California's gun violence rate has gone down dramatically and is lower than the national average opposite. you moved in the exact opposite direction with all that even goes for illinois where chicago exists you know what i mean like everywhere where there's actual gun regulation gun violence is lower than red states 100 it's not even a question this this argument is like so fucking stupid going in la one in tampa one in orlando they were endangering the public and I remove them from their posts. Gavin Newsom is not. But the Florida has less, by the way, in 2019. In no, in they had less uh, mass that, shootings that in 2019. That county's collapsed. Oh, don't, 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 he don't is not enforcing. That doesn't the mean anything. So what do you mean? Here's the great thing. American city. This is that's what's happening. That California model. We're looking at time in Philadelphia. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, I'll have you know, it doesn't matter if like Florida's fucking gun violence and murder rate is almost double the Californian number. I'll have you know, in 2019, California had more mass shootings you have a higher murder rate in the state of florida in the state of california we've we got to take the a break. lowest crime rates we've had in 50 years well, we'll have more with governor DeSantis, governor gavin newsom on the other side as we continue the great state debate blue versus red it's hardly that's such a stupid fucking i know that person was joking he must have been uh both had more than most countries yeah no shit you want to know why both had more than most countries because they literally have fucking too many guns in America. It doesn't matter. It's still an American problem. When you have more guns, you're going to have higher, higher homicide numbers across the board. And when you have more guns, you're going to have more gun violence across the board. So yes, you know, uh, the, the per capita argument doesn't matter if it, it's bigger than most countries. It doesn't matter because that's still, uh, you're adjusting it per capita. You're adjusting it to the civilian pop, to the population uh, overall. Uh, having said that, however, 
Uh, no, Florida being bigger than most countries or California being bigger than most countries doesn't mean anything. We're talking about raw numbers of mass shootings. Yes, California has more people, so they're going to have more mass shootings. That's normal. But that's not even that's not even relevant because mass shooting numbers are not fucking relevant. 2019 mass shooting numbers of California is not relevant to the conversation of gun violence, okay? <laughs> like, I wonder why they used 2019 as an example. Yeah, the the... It's like saying you got to take out suicide numbers when you're when you're looking at gun violence. Like what the, what the fuck do you mean? If you use a gun in your suicide, you're more likely to kill yourself. So, yeah, no, I think it's very relevant. It's like saying, "No, no, no. Sorry, you can't use accidental discharge deaths in your in your gun violence statistics." It's like, "No, I can because that's still a gun. And if there wasn't a gun, it would not have happened." Mass shootings are proportional to guns, not population. Wait, what do you mean? There's, if there's more population, there also will be more guns as well. What are you talking about? It's also 2019. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's since 2019. Sorry. Okay. Well, regardless. I thought it was just 2019. I thought that was really funny. Most mass shooters get guns legally and are the first offenders a lot of the time. So I don't know why they said that. Ceasefire in Gaza extended by another day, by the way, according to Wall Street Journal, says Elant News. Congratulations. To all the peace lovers out there, all the lovers of uh, extending peace. Most car deaths are accidental and are still bunched together with intentional car deaths. Yeah, well, you can't do that, actually. <laughs> but let me tell you, if we're looking at intentional car vehicular manslaughter, okay, intentional vehicular manslaughter, not accidental, um, Florida will take the cake 100%. They're, Florida has probably the highest number of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like sorry, we're looking at uh we're looking at car deaths. Well, uh we're going to take out DUIs now. Anyway, a lot of this stuff is really stupid. Uh and it, it's just like very carefully massaging numbers. It's done very frequently. Uh it's it's done all the time. This is how Republicans operate all the fucking time. They like to play fast and loose with numbers. Overall though, uh, there's always a, there's always a, a, a way to describe it. There's always, a, there's always a reason for it. Like at the top of the hour, the number of people that see the, the top of the hour ad break, which is three minutes long, goes, gets lower and lower year over year. How does that happen? Well, it's because many people are subscribing. <laughs> fumbled it. I fumbled it. Shut the fuck up. God, this debate was shit. Right, welcome back to Hannity, the great red state, blue state debate. We continue with Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, Governor Gavin Newsom of the state of California. Gentlemen, let's turn to the issue of parental rights. Now, in March of last year, Governor DeSantis, as you know, you signed the Parental Rights in Education bill. And let me read from it. It says, classroom instruction... Framing by this as parental rights is so nasty. You're a nasty freak. You're a fucking bad guy. You're a bad guy. You're a nasty bitch. Oh, they, they're doing parental... They're, they're framing it... Dude, it's like debating abortion. Debating abortion on Fox News and then framing it as like, baby murder, is it appropriate? Gavin Newsom, you've said it's the best. Like, what do you mean? What, what do you mean parental control? Should schools be focusing on reading, writing, math, science, history, computers, and maybe leaving values, considering parents might have different values than teachers at school, um, to the parents, to religious institutions, uh, or is it the role of the school? What is the role? The role of the school is to educate kids, not indoctrinate kids. It's not to impose an agenda. It's yeah. to do the basics. It's not to impose an agenda, and which is why we're teaching Florida white supremacist education and praise you to our children. Their gender is a choice. It's inappropriate to tell a second grader that they may have been born in the wrong body. Now, California has that. Uh, they want to have that injected into the elementary school. My mm -hmm. wife and I have a 7, 5, and a 3-year-old. Uh, we don't think that that's appropriate. And I know most parents do not think it's appropriate. Uh, it's also important to respect parental rights to know what curriculum is being used in the classroom, and everything should be age appropriate. I actually have something that I brought that some oh, parents God. have objected to. Oh, God. What did he bring? To. So this is a book that's in some of the schools in the California fuck? and Florida. This is not consistent what with the standards. Fuck? It's called Gender Queer. I, it's, some of it's blocked out. You would not probably be able to put this on there. This is pornography. It's cartoons. It's aimed at children, uh, and it's wrong. So this should not be... In schools, uh, when people like on the left say that somehow Bro, you're why do you have a print out? this 
from a young kid's classroom. No, this that. is not age appropriate. And so we're going to stand for the rights of parents. I think we need to do that nationwide. Bro, I don't think you can bro have pulled a out the pocket sand. States just trample on the rights of parents. Parents have a fundamental right to direct the education and upbringing of their kids. I, I mean, by the way, you've been on a banning bench. 1,406 books <laughs> have been banned just last year under Ron DeSantis' leadership. I love that he keeps he pulling fucking, this out. I've seen this. He pulled He's been out. Doing this all of the campaign. He pulled out like a cartoon of, of like. It's not banned. What's wrong? It's not. True. I don't know. It was like What's a sex ed Amanda cartoon Gordon's or something. It's, it's so poetry. funny. 1,406. 1,406. He's doing the thing. Have been banned He's doing the thing. That's gross. That's weird, man. That's weird. You're being weird. Why are they being so weird? Parental Conservatives need to stop being LCF weird. Process. We actually require parental engagement. Bro, curriculum you can't pull that out and then have people go, oh, that's a normal thing that you just did. Grade sexual education. That doesn't happen until middle school. What you're doing is using education as a sword for your cultural purge. And you know what? With all due respect, you know, I remember in the 1970s, in the 1970s, we had a bill called the Briggs Initiative. And there was a guy by the name of Ronald Reagan, so offended by the Briggs Initiative, which was the original don't say gay bill. In that case, it was not allowing teachers that happened to be gay to teach. And Reagan had the courage to stand up. And he said, you can't catch gay like you can measles. I don't like the way you demean people. I don't like the way you demean the LGBT Beat his community. Ass. I don't Beat like his ass like that Chinese boy on the basketball courts. Newsom. Banning issues is that not a state issue? Is that a state issue or a local it's issue? Local, and, he, and he's okay. Fine. That's that, all that, I want to know. Home book wasn't but there. Me, wow, wow, Sean Hannity giving him an out. He's like, come on, it's just a local um, issue, right? Some of the books you're talking about. One is called the governor just brought it up. It's called Gender Queer, a memoir, explicit pornographic book showing sex acts. Another flamer, graphic book about young boys performing sex acts at summer camp. Uh, this book is gay, a book containing instructions on the ins and outs of gay sexuality. Let me finish. Uh, let's talk about it, a book that contains graphic descriptions about how to masturbate for males and females. My question to you, Governor Newsom, those books, do you believe that's appropriate for school districts to teach kids, yes or no? Not, come on, those are not, it's not part of the curriculum. They're not Excuse teaching me, those kids. Are the, that, that, those a, are books that were in school. Hold on, hold on. The bottom line is you are on a book banning binge, your state. 1,406 books, 3,362 in this country. You didn't answer. Florida what about leading, those no, books? Florida. That's not, we don't provide for K through third grade education, that kind of curriculum. It's just made up. These guys make it up. It's part of this cultural purge. Should it it's be just a you, made what grade, up what That's grade, the educational material that he brought up on stage for Sean those of you who Ron, wanted to see. What I find offensive it's blurred. He blurred it too. A very significant number of these books happen to be LGBTQ books. A significant number of these books you think it's happen appropriate to be around African Americans. Do you think it's honestly fine? Do you think it's appropriate, school? Do you think it's appropriate we in school? That. We don't teach that. We have sex education in middle schools and high schools where it's appropriate. This is a ginned up, made up issue to divide this country. You talk about dividing this country. This is part of the culture war, the weaponization of grievance. This is part okay. using education. Well, we're focusing on math, science. We're focusing on reimagining our school we're system. We're going to get to education criminalizing next. teachers so and criminalizing librarians. They check out They've the wrong used book. the schools to impose... Uh, a liberal agenda, social justice. They have this ethnic studies where they're dividing people. That's what they're doing. But let me just gender say queer, a memoir by California Maya Kababe. Parents rights. This is rich. He's been telling a lot of whoppers tonight. This may be the biggest in California. A lot of whoppers. If you're a parent in Iowa or New Hampshire or South Carolina. Mm, your minor choice. child can go to California without your knowledge or without your consent and get hormone therapy, puberty blockers, and a sex change operation. Yeah. All without you knowing or consenting. Wait, How what? in the heck is that well, you know what? honoring Wait, parents' what? rights? When no, that, that's not from true. On their parents' backs and getting life-altering surgery. You can't get fucking life-altering surgery before the age of 18, especially not without parental you consent. Decide. What you are you saying? You know what? And the these parents do not want to kids survive. going I to these this, other honestly. things. Let these me go kids to a follow-up. Let, let me stay on a follow-up. Let's they turn to, to the issue of Where's education. Your decency and humanity Let's, and grace when it comes of to taking, these ripping Attacking somebody away. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. No, nobody can, 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 nobody can hear you. That is wrong. That is wrong. That should not stand in this country. Let us turn, gentlemen, if I may, to the issue of education. Here is public school spending per K through 12 
students, according to the Education Data uh, Initiative from the U.S. Census Bureau and National Center for Education. Florida spends nearly $12,000 per student, while California spends over $16,000. Florida is ranked number one by U.S. News & World Report uh, in terms what? of state education rankings. California ranks 20th. Governor Newsom, what is your explanation? You spend more money and they have better results in Florida. Why? I just told you what I'm doing in public education. We created a brand new grade pre-K for all. We're doing after school and summer school for all. We're reimagining the school day, not just the school year. We just provided 3.4 million of our students, upwards of $2 billion for child savings accounts, and the opportunity to start businesses when they graduate. We have one of the best records under COVID, during COVID, and again, you didn't answer to the fact you had more learning loss. Ron DeSantis had more learning loss during COVID. Fourth grade reading, fourth grade math, eighth grade reading, eighth grade math. We outperformed you in every, it's a fact during COVID in every one of those categories. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get all the PolitiFacts tonight because Ron, you keep denying some basic fundamental facts on health, wealth, and education. We outperformed you during COVID. You talk about things to apologize, you should apologize for your COVID record. You were with Fauci. Florida on educational attainment uh, is, is higher than California, but not by a lot, but it's not schools, number one, it's 21. Those people, June of 2020, he kept the schools closed for a long time, uh, and that had devastating impacts. And why? What Gavin Newsom does in California is kowtow to the teachers union. It's number Whatever one in education for higher. Do, he does. I think he it's number one in education for higher education. Yeah, it's number 14 so in, in uh, Biden is pre-K till. Uh, and so is Kamala Harris. That's why they fought the way, school not openings Kamala when, Harris. when he Shame came in. There. Yeah, he wasn't they talking about like education when you understand the way we understand education. He was talking about higher education. Wait, is this opinion poll or is this actually Gavin Newsom is in a gruesome twosome? In True. In the future elections, and it's the issue. No, what abortion. the U.S. News and World Report ranking is fucking. You. It's no, age adjusted, you, guys. They age adjusted the rankings. Right to answer uninterrupted, uh, and that is Governor DeSantis. Um, I think it's actually your turn, Governor. It's age adjusted uh, educational <laughs> rankings. All good. Most medical professionals believe a baby is viable outside of a mother's womb by between 24 and 26 Where weeks. is the, is the fucking state by state education? God damn it. There are some Let me find it real quick. It. Abortion is legal in your state, quote, up to viability, <sighs> is my understanding, unless the mother's health is in danger. Um, I'd like to get you on the record. You've been unwilling to answer this question. Do you, should there be any restrictions on the issue of abortion that you support at all because funding in California, I think the best way to answer this is no restrictions on abortion uh, as long as there is uh, any kind of any kind of detriment to the carrier restrictions at all. That's the most politically sound way of answering this question. It's a tricky. It's a hot potato. Pass viability. I'm going to answer that question, but let's talk about the issue of abortion. Let's talk about the issue. You're going to answer it. I'm going to answer that question. Because, like, I'll when you say that. no restrictions on abortion, they immediately cynically go, "Oh, what about nine months in one day?" And it's like, like that's why you're in America. That's why you're supposed to say, as long as there's a there's any kind of detriment to the carrier, because there's no place in the United States of America where you can get an abortion for funsies, uh, in the third trimester, right? And and that's not even a thing that people do anyway. So it's like a very stupid thing to argue on. It's a very stupid point to argue regardless because it doesn't exist and it's not even legal. Which is precisely why you should always say no restrictions on abortion, no restrictions on abortion uh, if there is a detriment to the carrier. That's it. Because the only states that allow, the only states that uh, that actually allow third trimester abortions only allow it when there is uh, some kind of detriment to the carrier. And her doctor, for any reason... Not for any reason. No, 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 it's, it's no. I'm asking. Extremely rare. Should there this be? See, he's doing the wrong thing. He's saying it's extremely rare. Don't even say that. Just say detriment to the life. Where you guys have I'm to asking. go to cover for the should, extreme should there be, abortion agenda of Ron DeSantis. Should there be? Hurt your would you the best possible way to fucking describe this is by saying it is incredibly rare. He answered like you wanted to. He also said detriment to life. No, he should only. He should. He shouldn't fucking answer that framing the way he's asking the question. If it's rare, should it be illegal? 
should legal. be up to the mother and her doctor and her conscience. And it so almost the answer is always, no restriction. I, I've already answered it. And I'll, no and I'll restriction. just reinforce it. To cover no, that, see, again, he's, he's saying no restriction. No restriction. No restriction, no restriction, no restriction when there's a detriment to the carrier. A six week ban okay. in the unlikely uh, case you come That's it. Let's talk, you about, a national ban? let's talk about your you state. That. He's you, had, saved you had 15 weeks. This is a gimme. Uh, this is a gotcha. He should have fucking killed it. You reduced it to six. Uh, my question is this. Uh, what was your thinking behind it? Was it for religious reasons? Was it for uh, scientific reasons? What was the reason for you um, from going from 15 weeks to six weeks? Well, I believe in a culture of life. I think we're better off when everybody counts, when everybody has an opportunity to do well. Uh, and that bill uh, attaches when there's a, a detectable heartbeat uh, for, for the child. And what some states this? have done that. Some states have done others. Some states have done uh, later. And obviously, they Operating have a, public a, a right to do that. Ranked number two uh, but I think California? about one of our Floridians, Wait, what, is this, what are these Hopper, numbers, though? Uh, she actually survived a late-term abortion uh, back in the day. And, and they left her on the... Oh, it's the, the most... The, uh, the table there to, to basically wither away. Her grandmother came, number. saved her, brought her to a brought her to a hospital, brought her, saved her, and, and she ended up living up. He's doing the baby. So, He's so doing the baby in the pan. The baby and in the pan I conversation. What the position that we have from the modern left, including in California, is that they will take your tax dollars and they will fund abortion all the way to the moment of birth. He's wrong when he says the, the later terms are all because of this. 88% past 15 weeks are, in fact, elective uh, from, from the Florida data. He doesn't keep data there. But that is really extreme to take your tax dollars uh, and to do this all the way up uh, to the moment of birth. He didn't answer your question about any type of protections at all uh, for a baby that has a beating heart, that can feel pain, that is viable. Right. Let me, but, let me, but, hold, but he, hold on. Respectfully, this is a, a, an important conversation. Will you or will you not support you, you didn't a national answer, Sean. Why didn't you? Why didn't you, you answer or will you question? not support why didn't a you national support? ban if why? it lands on your desk? You couldn't answer that in any other context. Okay, answer gentlemen, it tonight. It's a we're simple moving yes, on no. to By the, the next way, issue. Hey, no, Sean, not a you next issue. You never gave a week. The American people should know this. I'll answer it for Ron DeSantis. He can't answer it. He will sign that extreme okay, six-week Okay, let me move on. The American people should know this. I'm calling this the lightning round. It would be great if you guys called. Cooperated. Uh, I'm not a potted plant here. Um, and I want to ask you, we all know that federal policy does have a huge impact on states. We know that. I'm going to ask you three simple questions, and I just want one word answers, okay, from uh, three of you. Because uh -oh. we're best. We're coming one up word answer is going to be the fucking word. the issue is right now Joe Biden is president. Yep. So uh, I would like both of you to give a grade to Joe Biden overall as president Governor Newsom. Yeah, Gavin's about to dig right him like crazy. He's getting 10 10. A master failed. And a failure. Yeah. Okay. No, that's your now. Campaign. Number two, President. are his policies helping or hurting your individual states? Is it helping the state of Florida? The inflation is hurting our state big time. <laughs> Great. Uh, fail. He failed. Yeah. He's failed what on the you, economy. The guy just took twenty-eight million dollars in the, state of from the science and in tech act. Thank you, Joe Biden. Uh, it's absolutely accelerating our dominance in manufacturing, accelerating our revitalization. Okay, of that our was state. a simple the answer. answer. Is unequivocally, lastly, absolutely yes. Okay, I will ask you, Governor DeSantis. Um, I have played over and over again, and Governor Newsom, you have seen over and over again, um, Joe Biden is experienced what I believe to be significant cognitive decline. And in other words, it's the toughest job in the world. Is Joe Biden experiencing this uh, cognitive decline? Is it a danger to the country? Do you find when he speaks, what is your reaction? Dude, to what it? a question. Yes, hey, on a scale of yes, one to 10, how fucking mentally disabled would you say Joe Biden is? Is an insane framing. I mean, he is. But it's like wild that that's the question. That's the way he presented the question. I mean, he is. I will take He is. But it's wild that the moderator. How disabled do you think Joe Biden is? And no, actually, wait, I'll take it one step further. He said, How disabled do you think Joe Biden is? And how bad do you think his disability is hurting the country? 2.2% GDP growth in the last quarter. There's a facts you don't hear on Fox News. 14 million jobs, 10 times Let me more move the last on. That was the lightning Republican round. President now, Biden. on March 31st, what a, what a lightning 1968, round. President Lyndon B. Johnson famously said, I shall not seek and I will not accept the nomination 
of my party for another term as your the president. The question was ages yesterday. Now, despite yeah. being an incumbent president who is eligible to run for re-election, Governor Newsom, I have interviewed you twice on this issue. You say you are not running for president in 2024. In mm. fact, you recently said, quote, you think that Vice President Harris is naturally the one lined up to run for president if Joe Biden were to bow out. Governor Newsom, tonight I ask you, will you make an LBJ-like statement and Governor DeSantis, you say he's running a shadow campaign in your response. I would like you to answer that. Will you say unequivocally under no circumstances are you running? Correct. I've said, I don't know how many times I can say it. You're just making this stuff up about a shadow campaign. If, if, the, line, if uh, at the DNC convention they come and Joe ask Biden, you, will you run, what will you say? Joe Biden will be our nominee in a matter of weeks. And in a matter of weeks, Sean, he'll be endorsing Donald Trump as a nominee for the Republican Party. Oh! If they come to you at the DNC and Joe Fucking is incapable of dude. running, they ask you, are you, you a daggered him. No, that's how, that's rough. Enough, Don't so say that. He's hurt. Look at, look at Ron's face. He's the hurt. the president's doing and the vice president's, the Biden-Harris campaign and team. So absolutely unequivocally, vice I president look forward Harris would be the to next continuing person. to support their efforts. President right. Biden will be oh. reelected. I mean, Donald Trump I think will what be he's rejected. Saying, I think what he's saying should color every single thing. I mean, I've called him on a lot of the lies, but he it's says sugar, Joe Biden man. is 100% up to the job. You know that that's not true. Anybody that can look, he wants you to believe him over your own lying eyes. When he says the economy is so great, how great is it when you're going to the grocery store now? How great is it when you're trying to afford a home? How are those interest rates doing? What about affording a new car? So we have to get real here. We have to understand that, that Biden is not a job. But here's, the, here's, I think, the problem. Uh, what Biden would do, the people around him, they would look to California. I go to the, the grocery store and I say, it's sugar, man. That would accelerate the decline of this country. Yeah. Freedom is what works. The failures need to be left in the dustbin of history. Yeah, tell, 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 tell about freedom to women that you're trying to criminalize in your state. And All right, we're, we're, we're retreating to old ground. For years, this notion of freedom. Gentlemen, Florida is not a state of freedom. Uh, one of the things I want to accomplish here is the policies that you both implement have a great impact on the citizens of your individual states. Um, for years, a gallon of gasoline, Governor Newsom, in California has been notably higher in your state than in the state of Florida. That's right. Here are the numbers, by the way, recent numbers. The average cost for a gallon of gas nationwide, just over $3.24 in Florida, $3.17 in California. It is a whopping $4.85. So, Governor Newsom, I ask you, you've also sued big oil companies alleging executives have deceived the, the public about uh, the health of our planet, knowing that it's a polluter. Fact. If your lawsuit is successful, that would likely mean higher gas prices, even higher gas prices for everybody. Here's my question, though. Could you name right now one source of energy that you can bring online in the next three to six months that would be as inexpensive for the people in this country as fossil fuels? Well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me touch. Can you, on, can you think of that energy? Let me touch on the, I'm going to get to your question, and then let me touch or the latter part of your question. Let me get to the first part of the question. Okay. You're absolutely right. Since the 1980s, Republican administrations, Democratic administrations uh, have experienced, under their uh, stewardship, experienced higher gas prices in the state of California. We've been ripped off by big oil. We continue to be ripped off by big oil. Big oil now is met a new foe, and that's the state of California, the most aggressive anti-gouging law in America, more transparency being required than any time in America. And yes, we're suing. We're suing the industry responsible for this climate crisis. By the way, the same climate crisis that Ron DeSantis celebrated as human, human caused, who campaigned for a fracking ban, who campaigned to oppose offshore oil drilling, and then two days after you, you got elected, signed an executive order, by the way, Nikki Haley had you dead to right on this, Ron, signed an executive order doubling down, saying you're, you're adamantly opposed to fracking, adamantly opposed to You're woke, adamantly opposed you're woke Ron. Oil drilling. You're fucking woke. You Get with the program, the you Sierra bitch. Club you love the fucking coral reefs, bitch. Once That's again, why you stopped oil, uh, oil drilling on your Santos. shores, now bitch. you're running away from climate change, as things have gotten worse hurricanes is sugar man go woke get broke ron of weather weighted related disasters and he has no response except
talking points All from right. Big Oil. Governor, well, that, that, was, uh, that, that was a, that was a mouthful. Governor uh, again, just, just more. Yeah, 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 yeah. A mouthful. California is the only one that oil companies are gouging. Why aren't they doing that to Georgia or Florida or these other states that have lower gas prices? It's because of their policies. That's why people are paying more there. Those what Gavin the, Newsom the wants to do, talking. what he's doing in California, what Biden wants to do nationally is government-dictated green energy policies. Uh, <laughs> they want to kneecap uh, fossil fuels and reliable energy. We've already seen what's happened in California. They have rolling blackouts. He actually implemented a mandate what? to buy to buy electric vehicles. So pretty soon in California, you're not going to be able Our to rolling buy blackouts are due to fucking like wildfires. What is he later, talking about? Uh, there was a notice from the state government telling all EV owners do not plug in your EV because they don't have enough grid capacity. So he is walking his people into a big time disaster. Uh -huh. What Biden wants to do is he wants to take the California model. He wants to impose that nationally. He wants to take away your ability to purchase. Yeah, bro, the car made it seem like <laughs> bro made it seem like California is like <laughs> South Africa or or Turkey. You know what I mean? I have an EV. It doesn't yes, work. I do. It's going to cause huge problems. We have more energy here. We can be the dominant energy well, producer in the world, in Florida, and that's what we're going to do. Fracking, Flor Flor Florida is drilling. not a big energy state. We have the Marcellus deal. We have the West Texas. Hypocrisy. We have all of that. Just so let's do that. Hypocrisy. No forcing electric vehicles. Ailey. We got to take Save a break. American automobile. Complete when we hypocrisy. come back, we'll continue the great state, red state, blue state debate. Um, God, these debates are so fucking stupid. But I guess pure comedy in some ways. Yes. Um, they're not rolling blackouts in, in the state of California. We have, we have pre-planned blackouts due to wind to ensure that there aren't like wildfires, but that's it. I mean, our infrastructure is dog shit. Still better than Florida though. So I don't know. Oh my God. Mark Wahlberg is fucking doing a so municipal ad on, on Fox screen. news. Mark is passionate about his family, his faith and his country. He joined me on a tour of our 9-11 mobile exhibit. Oh, never mind. Tunnel to Towers voice. Foundation. He's helping us to never forget those who have sacrificed so much you guys are doing amazing work tunnel the towers foundation is it Murad has actually participated in this it's weird that mark Wahlberg, who once famously fucking said that uh he would if he was if he was on the 9 11 flight out of boston things would have gone down way differently and had to apologize is now pumping up a 9 11 charity but yeah no this is uh this is where they do a this is why this is where they do this like uh they, they walk like first responders and everyone else like it's like almost like a marathon where they walk from the tunnels all the way into uh the the towers i think right like or they run up the towers too what a tool i didn't know he said that yeah he said if i was on those fucking planes dude would have gone down differently let's just say it would have gone down differently Mackie Mac. He would have finished the job on flight 93. Yeah, that's what he meant. Wouldn't have gone down like that. All right. Wouldn't have gone down like that. All right. Would have played a shitty music and the terrorists would have simply given up. Oh, that's an Onion article that is making a joke, but Mark Wahlberg did say that. One post 9-11, uh, one guy post 9-11 saying how all we needed was a baseball. Or was that Bill Burr who said that? No. To be fair, if the hijackers were Vietnamese, it definitely would have gone down differently. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg would have activated the powerful Irish, the 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 powerful Bostonian racism. <laughs> he would have hate crime the hijackers. Oh no. Dude, dude, Fox News ads are comedy. Today, look at this. $19.99 a year, our lowest price of the year. For a limited time only, sign up today. Fox Great. Nation ads. Self -set -up. If you want to if you want to monitor your kids and ensure that they're not ensure that they're not doing gay shit when you're not around. The red state, <laughs> state debate, we continue with Governor Gavin <laughs> Newsom, Governor Ron DeSantis, <laughs> uh Fucking got him. the Department of Housing. Oh my god, I'm a chatter. I'm literally a chatter. I'm making fun of him for misspeaking. For the homeless population in each of your states. It is a big problem around the country. In the state of California, it is one hundred and seventy-two thousand. In Florida, it is twenty-six thousand. Now the per capita number He's so cooked. He's so cooked for California. Is gruesome is cooked on this people this is why by the way i love this debate actually low-key because i told you guys that governor gruesome get uh, gruesome governor gavin newsom would get fucking absolutely cumstered on a national stage because his state is absolute garbo even on aspects where it's not garbo it literally is is portrayed as garbo so like he would have to unironically have to combat like misinformation 
And also, half the time, there are real problems with the state. This is one of them. This is like a major 5%. issue. But it's caused a huge problem with quality of life in, in California. The people that flee always bring up this. They've really empowered people that flee. And drug use. Bro, and, he's know, acting like people leaving fucking California was the freedom. People man. leaving Isla Vista are, 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 are leave. They're fleeing. They're refugees, dude. They come to Boca Raton like, oh, my God, thank God. Freedom to defecate in public in California. You have the freedom to pitch a tent on Sunset Boulevard. You have the freedom to create a homeless encampment under a freeway and even light it on fire. You have the, the freedom to uh, have an open air drug market and use drugs. You have a freedom if you're an illegal alien to get all these taxpayer benefits. So, so those are <laughs> what? What benefits? What benefits, dumbass? What fucking benefits, stupid? Quality of life in California, and the results speak for themselves. People are leaving the state because they have failed in addressing the homeless population. Yeah, motherfuckers leaving Rancho Cucamonga escaping. Uh, criminalizing teachers, criminalizing doctors, criminalizing librarians, and criminalizing women that seek their reproductive care. You're making it harder to vote. You're banning books. I mean, spare me this notion of freedom. Ask the folks at Disney about freedom and free enterprise. Ask the folks at the Special Olympics. Yeah, he's cooked. That's why he's like flinging. Look at him. Look at him fucking flinging around like a rat. Like a sexy ass rat, though. Not like an ugly one. Like he'd be like a hot rat in Ratatouille. That is nah. that's when being a liberal this, bully. You know, that's being a bully. Really? They attacking, had Down syndrome and you wanted to discriminate Olympians. against them. Twenty-seven million dollars. They were discriminating against special because Olympians. they were discriminating against the athletes. On the they issue wanted to of marginalize the athletes, right. and you wanted the athletes what the marginalized. Fuck? Why is that was here? wrong. What you did. These are kids with Down syndrome the way, that just wanted to compete. I grew up and working you wanted to them, adoption you wanted them special kids. Special I've been Olympics. working with special You're a liberal Olympians bully. all my life. You wanted How them to be. You wanted them to be ostracized. You threatened to find special Olympians from Florida. She got to participate because we stood up for her. This is how you treat. Yeah, by the way, no, hold on. Your, it's your no, no, turn. let me say, Go. I can handle that. I can handle it. I'm used to that. But you know oh, what? You wanted her your attacks on the trans community, you your attack her on the gay and lesbian community, That's wrong. you attack she vulnerable communities, and we, we you attack women. That, and we made sure they Again, Ron, relax. I can handle it. I'm used to bully. You're nothing but a bully. You're I bully. understand that. Intimidating and humiliating people. That's your calling Why card. Why did you want the and special the way, Olympians not to be able to compete? How well is it going for you? Why did you well want them not to be able to compete? How well is this why campaign going? Why do you not want them to be He's able to compete? He's not going to let me talk, so I don't understand to the why you want to discriminate Again, against I'll remind you, down down the blueprint, he wanted them the to be excluded from the Florida. Special Olympics. Let me, let me, has put let me, Ron DeSantis 41 points down. Is Ron DeSantis' new strategy accusing Gavin Newsom of ableism? Is he trying to increase Gavin Newsom's bona fides in the Fox News audience? First, he called him a bully. Then exactly. he said he's ableist. Yeah, what the Reagan fuck? State. The difference is I'm the first governor in California history. No, to Jank take has this to leave. We can't have a Jank off. We're investing unprecedented resources, more accountability. We've gotten 68,000 people off the streets, close to 6,000 encampments we've gotten off the streets. We've also invested in unprecedented resources. There's no Jank off, folks. Our behavioral health system. Ron has literally the worst mental health system in America, forgive me, outside of, of Mississippi. And Texas. Forgive and so me. With all due respect to being lectured on some of these topics, Ron DeSantis is not the one right. I'm going to be well, listening. Thirty second response. Me. You're. Uh, well, I'm looking at total time. Governor DeSantis yeah, look, about this, two this, minutes. This, this, he is, needs it. this is a map of San Francisco. <laughs> There's a lot of plots on that. You may be asking, what is that plotting? Well, this is an app where they plot the human feces that are found on the streets of San Bro, Francisco. Stop with these props, you see how dude. almost the whole thing is covered because that is what is happening. Bro, what else has he got in his pockets, dude? He's got the weirdest Actually shit. He's ever had. Human feces is now a, a fact of life, except when a communist dictator comes to town. Then they cleaned up the streets. They lined the streets with Chinese flags. They didn't put American flags there. They cleaned everything up. So they're willing to do it for a communist dictator, so, but they're not willing to do it for their own. Dude, dude oh my God. Can you imagine they do a fucking, they do a, a, a high-speed rail for a communist dictator too? Hamas terror attacks on October the 7th. We have what? seen what is nothing short of a disturbing outbreak right. of virulent, hatred, anti-Semitism around the world, in the halls of our Congress, on American streets. It's so funny, these motherfuckers campuses, were all riding the, the, the Jews will not replace uh, us uh, crowd uh, on Charlottesville, but like, when you got pro-Palestinian protesters, they're like, it's the worst anti-Semitism we're ever, we've ever seen. Chanting, gas the Jews, F the Jews, mm -hmm. in American cities. We have protesters calling for... Sean Hannity be like, and the wor worst of all, they weren't white. 
they weren't wearing swastikas. It's so scary. It's 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 scary when you got someone saying free Palestine. Much scarier than someone actually being fucking anti-Semitic. U.S. officials have warned Israel that they need more uh, to fight more surgically in Gaza. Governor Newsom, 30 seconds for you. We have to cut back on time. All right. how, do, how can Israel win the war against this terrorist group using surgical strikes and directions well, from, the, from Joe Biden? Israel. I visited Israel. I met with families, hostages. I saw videos of children being killed in front of their parents. Yeah, parents he's going to hit him with the fucking, I am way, he's going to be like, Ron to say, I'm a garden hoe. I'm way uh, more. I'm way more progressive. Or, 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 I'm, I'm way more pro-Israel to you, Ron. Hamas is a terrorist organization, and they need to be eliminated, not just for the people of Israel and Jews around the world, but for the Palestinians okay. themselves. But when it comes to the issue of anti-Semitism, you just mentioned a lot of things that have been occurring on Ron DeSantis's watch. He said nothing. You're calling Mass him anti-Semitic? Marching. I'm oh, saying what ha he countenanced anti-Semitism, oh, and now he's finally talking a big game ever yeah. since October right. 7th. For the How sake about of, the mass the, man for the sake of street, fairness of Jews time, get the rope. gentlemen, you said nothing. Governor well, DeSantis, I, nothing I on that, these um, issues. Hamas Look at the record. Nothing Governor short DeSantis, than a second Holocaust. They want to destroy Israel <laughs> and wipe every single Jew uh, off the map. Uh, Israel has every right to defend itself to the hilt. Biden should not be kneecapping oh, them. Oh, they're having a mid-off, And by dude. the way, Biden stranded a lot of American citizens over there. We're trying to get home. So I did an executive order in Florida, and we sent planes over to Israel right in the aftermath of October 7th. Wait. And we saved over 700 Americans, mostly Floridians, but not all, uh, because Biden wouldn't do it. Finally, Biden started <laughs> Wait, what? people in Greece. And then they were sending a bill to the Americans. Ron DeSantis is like, I paratrooped into Gaza. Legally, they will pay to fly you all over the place. They'll put you up in hotel at no expense. But yet our own citizens fleeing a war zone, they're going to send you a bill. Joe Biden failed those people, and we stepped up and got right, it. I think he means like he sent planes to Israel to, like, fucking get Floridians out or something. What the fuck? I talk about this often. Intellectual property theft, unfair trade practices, uh, that China has been hostile to our fighter jets in international airspace, hostile to our Navy in international waterways. Uh, we know all about the China spy balloon that happened eight days right across the United States over military installations. Uh, the communist Chinese, they have nationals buying up thousands of acres of branch land, farmland, and land near military installations. Their hostility towards Taiwan. Uh, they are, Governor DeSantis, our number one geopolitical foe. I don't yeah. see that the Biden Dude, administration there is no, with them. There is no end in sight with, like, how fucking virulently pro-Nazi Floridians are. It's wild that Ron DeSantis gets to even talk on this issue. <laughs> like, it's insane to me. China should not be involved. Every in week, they're like, we love Ron DeSantis almost as much as we love Hitler rallies. Like, they're doing rallies every week. Ron DeSantis hired like a bunch of little Hitlerian children for his campaign. They were they were putting the Sonnenrad in the fucking campaigns. The fuck do you mean he cares I about anti-Semitism? China and grovel in front of Xi uh, like Gavin Newsom did. He says China's a partner uh, on climate change. China's adding two new coal plants every year. China's laughing. Uh, at us with what they're doing. So yes, they're the number one threat we face, and we need to take it. Bro, China is literally is dominating. It's just this is just reminder. dominating the renewables uh, game yeah, right it, now. It, I think it's a question some people are probably asking. I know Nikki Haley's campaign is asking, when are you going to drop out and at least give Nikki Haley a shot? To oh, take down Donald Trump in this nomination. She laid you out. Please. You're a walking oh, hypocrite. You wish. You what about you're a walking? Oh, hypocrite. he's bobbling. He hates China. it. Look at him. He's bobbling. Was looking for direct foreign trade from China. Was doing trade shows. That is false. Up an awesome, that's already been that's debunked. An you talk about the liberal fact you checkers. Even the liberal fact checkers Ch did, Donald did Trump that. Donald Trump himself so. today Please. called you Red Ron for Please. a reason because of your complete hypocrisy. All right, we're almost out of time. Talking a big game. I confronted she Our, on the issue of fentanyl, Ron. I confronted them on human rights. You didn't. I absolutely did with the foreign minister and the vice president and other leaders in china you talk a big game meanwhile we're you over done time except like what the fuck is gavin newsom doing about Sanders, china's about human rights seconds, abuses bro fucking fix homelessness you, you stupid fuck five seconds what do, what do i get no you i'll do okay i'll All be right, a little right, more generous right, than that um uh look it's been a very passionate debate tonight actually it's been fun to be a part of i i think the american people will decide um Governing philosophies could not be more different. But let me ask you this. 
kind of a fun question. You, you both clearly love your states. Uh, you visited each other's state. Uh, Governor DeSantis, um, you can take as much time as you want. <laughs> you have an extra 90 seconds. What is your favorite thing about the state of California? And well, I give him five minutes for this. I oh, love go this. right ahead. That's a good question. Five, well, all right, we'll stay long. When I, five minutes, when Governor. When I got orders as, yeah. a, as a Navy lieutenant uh, to go to Naval Amphibious Base Coronado, oh. I ended up spending any real time. Oh, he can't talk about California without I'm talking about the, the Navy. Uh, but I got down there, uh, and that strand is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And then all up and down, just a tremendous coastline. I do believe California has more natural advantages than any state in the country, um, which is why when you have so many people leaving on net, you know, that's hard to do. Like, people don't want to leave there because it really is such a beautiful area. And, and I'm proud of the military installations that are there. I'm proud of what the, what the Navy's been able to do uh, in conjunction uh, with the state. It was really important duty. Uh, it really helped forge me uh, as an individual and, and as an American. And so I'll always have very, very fond memories uh, of that nice strand down there in Southern California. I love that. I mean, what do you Reagan, no, what do you love? I don't know what you love Reagan about used to California. Call it California Coast of Dreams. By the way, what look, do you I, love about Florida? What, what, what I love about your question is the comedy in the question, meaning, you know what? We all want to be loved. We need to be loved. We all want to be protected, respected, and connected. I think there is a unity frame here. Okay. Uh, you, you said it well. I mean, I, I, Ron, I have no doubt Ron DeSantis loves this country. I love this country. It's not about red versus blue. It's red, white, and blue. The United States of America. And I think we're all better off. He's so whack. He's so, so whack. God, he's such a fucking... Oh, he you, sucks. Ron, being a family man, you got three incredible sucks. kids. He sucks. I appreciate your wife, your sacrifice. Oh! And I appreciate Whoa, that's a threat. Sir. That's a threat. But I also that's a threat. Fundamental that's a threat. You don't want that. This country. And that's oh, he put the stink on him. Oh, it's over. It's over. Ron, he's going to fuck your wife, dude. It's done. It's over. It's GG's. Right back to 2024. Oh, God. the last question. Would you do this again? He said, I appreciate your wife. Oh, it's done. It's done. He put the mark. He put the mark. He put the mark of death. That's why I want to show up to a debate. I have another 20 minutes, and I've got a lot of questions. I'm happy to. You want to stay? Let's just do an extended hour. I'm happy to do it. Okay. This has been fun. I, I think it's been fun, and I think it's been more entertaining. I'm sorry to the guests that I've been invited. i got to take a break, though. In the meantime, uh, we've got to pay some bills. It's not a cheap set we built no. for you all. Okay. Uh, I'm done. I'm done with this. I can't do this no more. Okay? That's enough for me. But having said that, he put the, he put the fucking stink on him. He put the stink on him. He said... That's a powerful note to end it on. That's a powerful note to end it on where he hit him with the fucking, he hit him with the, I'm going to fuck your wife, actually. Like, get excited.